Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'll be talking about the Fire Ring from the Vault of Incarnates, also known as the Seal of Diurnus Chosen. Uh, you can see that here. I was lucky enough to get this this week out of my vault uh, on Mythic level, so I have a 421 version of this, which is, you know, really cool and really good to have, obviously. I'm pretty pumped about it. Now, it doesn't affect Rhett as much as I would like it to, um, unfortunately, uh, just because, and we'll get into that. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about, should you be going for this ring? Should you be trying to tell your raid team to give you this ring? Stuff like that. And, you know, how this affects Rat specifically. Um, it kind of is hard to talk about this without also talking about embellishments. But I am going to try because I want to do a separate video on embellishments now that I've tried everything out with embellishments and can kind of speak from a place of uh, knowledge and knowing <laughs> instead of a, a place of speculation. Uh, so I, I will make a separate video about that. If I talk about embellishments a little bit, I'm sorry. I am just trying to keep this to the firing. The Seal of the Earth Chosen. So let's say you get your hands on one of these. LFR, normal, heroic, mythic, whatever. Uh, you, you get your hands on one of these Seal of the Earth Chosen. Uh, naturally, like, you know, just, you know, the loot goes to you for whatever reason. It's a big upgrade for you. Nobody cares. And you just get it. You roll neat on it, whatever. Um, will this be a DPS upgrade for you? Well, of course it will. It has an effect on it, right? It's a high item level, so it's a 421 ring. So I don't think I could get a higher item level ring the way the vault works. It, I don't know what does plus 20 give. Does plus 20 give 421 as well? Um, I can't even remember. But it's basically one of the higher item level things I could ever get for a ring. And it has an effect on it too. Now, unfortunately, we don't do a ton of fire damage as Rat. Our fire damage is our Wake of Ashes slash Radiant Decree. This does radiant damage. Um, radiant damage is holy plus fire. So another very uh, more normalized combination that you probably know of is frost fire. Like mages had frost fire bolt. I don't know if they still do, but frost fire is a spell type. It's frost and fire. <laughs> it's pretty easy uh, for paladins. They call it radiant, and it's fire plus holy. And the only ability that does it is our wake of ashes. And so we don't have a lot of abilities that are generating fire damage, unfortunately. So. Just with our single target build specifically, right? Um, we're using Wake of Ashes instead of Radiant Decree. Now, because of this, uh, you know, we're not having a lot of fire damage come out. Now, if you switch your... So, right now, my... Again, I'm going to try not to focus on embellishments. But right now, my embellishments are the fangs on my weapon. And I don't have a second one yet. Because I screwed up at the beginning <laughs> of the expansion uh, on what to craft. But my second one's probably going to be the Frostfire Belt. Now, that does fire damage, but let's, let's, I don't have that yet, so let's not talk about that. Um, the only fire damage that I personally do right now is my Wake. And because of that, so if, if you're in that case too, so let's say you have the Lariat and Fangs, right? Let's say those are your two embellishments you have, or you're like me and you only have one embellishment right now. Um, so if the only fire damage you're doing as a Ret is from your Wake or Radiant Decree, now, if you go, if you get a hold of this ring, what you'll want to do is you'll want to simulate it because it's going to be close, but you can actually end up getting to the point where your single target damage is actually higher if you take Radiant Decree and Truce Wake for single target. Run everything else the same, but you take Radiant Decree and Truce Wake for single target, and your DPS, at least my DPS, was like four or 500 higher uh, running that build because it's taking advantage of the ring procs and it's it's considerably more it's like three or four times percent more uptime when you run that build rather than wake of ashes if you run wake of ashes with uh truce wake so regular wake of ashes plus truce wake that increases it by a little bit but unfortunately not not as much as just running a different talent, right? So it, it's like it increases your fire damage, but lowers your overall damage. And I wish there was a way to like increase the fire damage that also increase our regular damage. But unfortunately, that's only the case, you know, with with the way things currently are, um, like with our current build or whatever. Um, with with my current build of only having fire damage from my wake of ashes. Now, once I get this frost fire belt uh, created, I will be doing extra fire damage. And so what I've simulated ahead of time is that that specific build is not going to be viable anymore. And I will not be running um, Radiant Decree with True Swake, unless there's some sort of tuning pass or something. Radiant Decree and True Swake for single target uh, as soon as I have that Frostfire Belt. But let's so let, but if you're in the case where you do not have the Frostfire Belt as a Rep Paladin, you'll want to simulate Radiant Decree, 
true swake, single target, while you have your Seal of Darkness chosen on. And uh, the, it should increase your single target DPS. If not, it'll be very close. It's a fun thing to run, too, on single target. Radiant Decree is a fun button to hit. I've always said that. Um, so um, that that is something that you can do once you get this rank. Now, unfortunately, what ends up happening is, so I just basically plugged in, like, my best of slot type gear, right? So I have, um, again, I'll talk more about embellishments in a separate video. But I have on my two best embellishments, including the Frostfire Belt. I have on... You know, I, I, I plugged in the right gear, and basically what happens is just the general rep build that's currently used is going to simulate higher than any kind of, like, fire build you try to make. And so the the, the damage that you get from the Yarnus Seal of Chosen is extremely passive and extremely low. Like, you're talking, like, 400 DPS or so, right, added from the proc on the ring. It's not very much. So this is not a ring that, in my opinion... Uh, you should be, you know, obviously you should want it. it. It's a cool ring. It's a rare ring. has a special effect on it. But this is not a ring that you should be, if you're in a raid team, for example, you shouldn't be saying, oh, I need this ring. I need this ring because I do fire damage with my Wake of Ashes. Um, you really aren't getting the benefit from the fire on it almost at all. And for the most part, you should treat this ring like it's just like an item level upgrade for you, unfortunately. Now, if they do something, um, like if they make, true swake uh burn for a longer time or something even if it was less damage but burn for a longer time uh like let's say it was eight percent damage over 10 seconds you know maybe that would change things up something would have to change with the amount of fire damage that we do though uh in order for that to happen maybe they made another ability to do fire damage because it's so important with this um yeah it's just it does it just really doesn't work unfortunately <clears throat> unfortunately um Let's see, and and I do have the Manic Grief Torch on it as well, and so that's ca calculating the simulations on on both, uh, in both cases in every build I have the Grief Torch on, so that fire damage is also calculated in there. So it's very unfortunate. I was hoping that the Radiant Decree, and I mentioned it a little bit in the Rec Guide. I was hoping the Radiant Decree with True Swake would do enough fire damage with the burn effect on top of it, um, that it would basically you know uh, make us do a lot more fire damage make it make us be like in the top you know third or so of people who really want the ring as far as doing more damage but unfortunately it just does not happen to be the case it doesn't proc quite often enough it's still really good if it's in your vault you should probably take it unless you know it, if it's between a mythic grief torch and a mythic ring you should probably take the grief torch or even probably a heroic grief torch you know, like there's some items in the game that are just super strong right now uh, so it's, it's something you should want because it is a little bit more damage but at the same time, it is mostly an item level upgrade with a little bit of fire damage bonus. And unfortunately, that's where it's at. Uh, it is cool, though. So let's say you say, well, I don't want to play the Frostfire Belt. Um, and we'll, again, I'll talk more about the embellishment and their actual DPS in a separate video. But let's say you just don't want to because you're you know, you're somewhat casual or whatever. You don't care what the top thing is. You want to play with your Fang Adornments on the weapon you made. Um, and you have a Lariat, let's say, already made. Um, and you don't care about the belt. Uh, in that case, you know, you do have a chance, if you don't care about min-maxing to the nth degree, right, you can run this Radiant Decree build, uh, and it'll either sim better or at least extremely close, if not better, um, than, the, than the just normal single target build. So, again, that's just Radiant Increase your Swake. So, you could take her out. So, for me, I haven't been running Exorcism. I see a lot of top logs not running Exorcism. Some do, some don't. Um, but you would just, like, I have Holy Crusader up here, so I would just take off Holy Crusader and I would just put that in the true swake and then change the uh, ashes to dust into radiant decree. And that would be higher for me. And that's higher for me right now. So I actually have a, you know, I just have a specialization called the Dearner's Ring uh, single target build. Now, what I haven't mentioned real quick, and I'll, I'll end the video with this, is that Dearner's Chosen Ring is very, very good for like Mythic Plus and AoE and stuff because, um, you know, it's, it's still not as good as for other classes. But it's really good because you uh, have, you know, more targets to hit and burn with your true swake, right? So you're going to get more procs of that from the burning duration on it, especially in, like, a Mythic Plus. So the ring is much better for AoE and Mythic Plus. But that's another reason why, like, you know, you shouldn't really necessarily be taking it away from someone who it really helps their single target damage a lot in raid. And, like, if you're in a raid team, 
That's why you shouldn't be trying to get it from them. But for AOE purposes, it's actually pretty good because, you know, let's say you pull, you know, 20 things or 10 things or whatever, uh, a large amount of things, and you hit them with your Radiant Decree and they're all burning, you know, that's a lot of, like, little procs happening of your, your ring while that's happening. On single target, obviously, it's a lot less. So, um, yeah, that, that's where I'm at on that, though. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, mostly eye-level upgrade for single target little little bonus dps and it's a you know pretty good aoe uh fire ability thing so um you know it, that, that that would be your case if you were trying to make a case like it's really good for mythic plus and it's uh it's really good for primal council <laughs> it's not even really good for primal council it's just it's okay for primal council it's only four targets you really want to get to more targets for it to be uh you know even better so uh, that's it for this fire ring video. I did promise I'm making one. I did get the ring, so I got to personally test it out, uh, and even in a raid environment. So uh, that's it for that. And the, probably the next ret video I do will be the embellishment video, uh, because I've gone through all the embellishments now. And again, this was stuff I wasn't finding a lot of information on, so I had you know had to do a lot of this testing and stuff myself. Uh, and yeah, so I, I will go over embellishments with you in probably the next ret video that I make. That could be tomorrow. That could be, it'll probably be sometime this week. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And other than that, everybody have a good one.